Every moment tonight They led me to you Every single time you look at me I lose it too Why don't you come sit next to me Let things happen naturally Hope you're all doing really well. So as you can see, we've arrived at the Gloucester Hotel and actually we went round to Gloucester and saw the docks today for the first time and we had such a lovely time. We had some lovely dinner at Wagamama's today and it was so, so lovely. So I can't wait for tomorrow. We're going to go to the spa and I shall take you with me just to show you around. Every moment tonight, they lend me to you. Single time you look at me, I lose it too Why don't you come sit next to me Let things happen naturally Like it used to be Gloucester Keys is located next to the beautiful historic docks of Gloucester One of the UK's most inland shipping ports And one of Gloucester's busiest tourist attractions Filled with Victorian architecture Gloucester Docks is the perfect place to enjoy interesting views and learn about Gloucester's history. If you haven't been before, it's absolutely amazing and it has loads of restaurants and pubs filled next to the canal which make for such a perfect lovely evening to just sit and pass and enjoy the afternoon. The ship canal was opened in 1827 and allowed boats to bypass a particularly winding part of the River Severn, thus making Gloucester an inland port. It's one of the busiest docks that has been found over the years and it's just a really lovely historic place to visit. This part of the canal was just so relaxing and just so tranquil. It was honestly the best part of the Gloucester Docks that I had seen. I absolutely loved the picturesque scene and the sun setting and I just thought it was just so lovely and peaceful and the restaurant on the right just looked absolutely incredible. I absolutely loved this corner of the docks and it just honestly set the scene for this whole day. It was absolutely amazing. For dinner, we couldn't resist going to Wagamama's. We haven't been here for such a long time and the menu was just so amazing. We ordered some prawn skewers and some chicken skewers for starters and they were absolutely delicious. I absolutely love the menu and I went for a Buddha bowl option with shredded duck and it was absolutely amazing. Now for just some downtime and just walking off all that food and just heading into the docks again just for a final lovely walk in the sunset. And the perfect way to finish off the evening was to just have a little walk by the docks again and just enjoy the lovely, lovely views. It was such a lovely day and it was really hot as well. So it was just so nice to see the little sun setting and just enjoy this part of the architecture and this part of Gloucester, which we had never visited before. Good morning everyone. So we slept really, really well. It's such a comfy bed and I am now dressed and ready just to go down to breakfast. We are going on some trail walking today. So I'm really, really excited about that. I'll show you the trail. It looks really, really awesome and the views look so amazing. So we are going to go on the Cleve Hill Common Ring Trail and it takes about six hours. I think it's six miles in total. We also were looking at some other places to go and some really lovely villages. So we've got quite a lot of things that we'd like to see and I'm hoping that we'll be able to kind of have a lovely day in the Cotswolds and just enjoy it. One thing we loved about this trail is that you can actually just take it at your own pace and there's so many different routes that you can go by. So 
this is what I'm currently wearing at the moment and I've just ironed my top. So I think I'm going to be wearing this top on top. So it's super comfy and it's a really hot day today. I think it's going to be 30 degrees, so I need to keep cool. So yeah, I'm going to try this one on on top. I think it will match. Added my top on and we are getting ready to leave soon. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Every moment tonight, they led me to you. Every single time you look at me, I lose it too. Why don't you come sit next to me? So we're just leaving for our little trail right now. I've got my mask on so I can't breathe, but I will see you shortly on the trail. It was just such a beautiful day for this trail walk and honestly the views were just to die for. There's this view that's coming up and honestly it's just the best view ever. I absolutely love just being really really high up, just getting that fresh air and just enjoying the day. It was really really hot as well so we decided to take a shorter route this time. What I love about this little tour is that you can actually just pick your own trail. There's so many different routes that you could take and there's a more difficult one and there's shorter ones as well and you can just do whatever you feel comfortable with. So we decided rather than taking that long one which is on the outer strip of this trail, we actually decided to just skip half of it and actually just walk up this trail which was a lot more shorter and quicker but it was just very very steep um the reason why we did this was because you could get the better views as you can see we are nearly halfway up to the top and the views are just so so stunning So we've just finished our walk and we are at this lovely, lovely little lunch place and I've just ordered a tuna toasty which I can't wait to try and also a much needed cappuccino. It's such a lovely day as you can see. I'm going to get my sunnies out because it's so, so sunny. This is the most stunning cappuccino I have ever seen. It's so gorgeous. So we went for a fish and chips and I had a tuna toasty with salad on the side. So we are getting ready to leave this beautiful, beautiful place. I absolutely love the Cotswolds. The countrysides are my favorite, favorite place, especially to go to in the summer. Everything is just so tranquil, so relaxing, and you can drive for hours in the countryside and literally get lost in the field. It's so beautiful over here and it's just so peaceful. Hi everyone. So we've just come back from our trail walking in the Cotswolds and it was honestly such a long trail. I think it was six miles and we walked for hours but it was really really nice weather and there was such a lovely breeze as well. I think without the breeze we would have really struggled but I'm so so proud of us because we went all the way towards the top and we saw such amazing views so I'm really happy about that and then we stopped off at the Cotswolds Golf restaurant and it was just so nice we had um, a really nice lunch um, my husband ordered fish and chips as you saw and I had a really nice 
sourdough toasty so we're just getting ready to go downstairs and go into the spa i've booked myself a lovely massage and i've also got a nail appointment to fix one of my nails which has fallen off i'm just looking forward to having a lovely pampering session today so i'm just getting ready for my massage and i can't wait i have got a back neck and head massage coming up so i really can't wait for that and i just can't wait to relax this evening as well i'm not sure where we're going to go for dinner but i'm just looking forward to just having a lovely relaxing evening before my birthday i know i forgot to check in last night but we did go for a lovely massage and then i ended up getting a facial and I, honestly i'm so so like feeling really refreshed and it was just so nice to just have that lovely massage and pampering session and my skin feels absolutely great this morning um it's always so nice when i get a facial i just feel like my skin clears up and it just yeah it feels really really fresh this morning and so today is actually my birthday so i'm really excited because we are going to go driving around some of the lovely villages in the cotswolds so i really just can't wait to see and explore i think we're gonna do like a stop off at a pub or something and yeah just have like a chilled out day and then this evening i'm not really sure what we're doing but i think we are going to a restaurant which i'm not sure which one but i hope it's really really nice and yeah i'm looking forward to it so yesterday after the spa we actually ended up <laughs> getting a delivery and we chose a local place around here and we had like sort of like a nando's chicken pitta with um some salad on the side i've never tried cookie dough before and so we were kind of intrigued and the cookie dough was absolutely delicious it was a white chocolate cookie dough and it came with ferrero rocher ice cream and it was so good it was yeah the best cookie dough well it was so good and I highly recommend trying cookie dough if you haven't tried it like me. I didn't know really what to expect but it was honestly really really lovely. Hi guys, so I am getting ready to leave for today. I chose some shorts because it's 30 degrees outside and I've just got this really lovely top from my Everything £5 haul. If you haven't seen the haul yet, I'll link the video in this one so that you guys can watch it. I've also got my lovely little sun bag which I got as a birthday present and yeah so i'm ready to go and i'm excited to see all the lovely villages Mind all the smoke is in the bathroom i don't care at all baby you got my attention so you were saying oh no i don't see the logic of things it's quite So we've just arrived at the Snow Hill Manor and the gardens are part of the National Trust. So we're just walking down to see them now and there's also like some other things to explore as well. So we're gonna spend um, some time this morning just exploring those before we go off to our next adventure. God, there's like loads and loads of lambs. Where you wanna go? I am <laughs> just making like so many funny noises. So walking our way through the manor house, we ventured out into the secret gardens and they were just the most captivating gardens I'd ever been in. I couldn't believe the amount of greenery and trees and it just looked all so lovely.
how beautiful is this manor house honestly it's the most beautiful beautiful venue and on a day like this it just looked absolutely stunning This was such a lovely, perfect village to walk around in. I absolutely loved it and everything was just so perfect. It was obviously a really, really busy day because of the weather, but it was just so nice having a walk around the streets and just seeing all the new little shops. I absolutely loved these types of shops. They always have the best knickknacks in and I was honestly spoiled for choice. Driving down the road that I grew up on once again It's when I pass your door the memories come back again Pictures of us Next we stopped off at Lower Slaughter and then we visited Upper Slaughter as well which are two towns really close by to one another and they are the most picturesque towns that we actually visited I absolutely love this little lake and we also got to walk around all the little village houses and they were just honestly the bestest houses that you could ever see. I absolutely loved each one and it was just so lovely. We also stopped here just taking a little break for a little picnic and then we ventured off onto other roads as well. This was my favourite part of Lower Slaughter. I just loved the little windmill and it just, yeah, the flow of the water and the sound of the water just sounded amazing and it was just so relaxing and it was more louder than this when I was there. It was just, yeah, incredible. It was so, so good. I'm going to end this vlog here and finish with my birthday meal in my next vlog so if you're enjoying this video do remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get a reminder as soon as I upload. I will see you on my next one.